We really try to put these vehicles through the paces before we let them out in any of the race events. Then, the real fun begins. With the presentations and safety checks now out of the way, it's time for the speed round. For this event, we have closed off a long enough stretch of road to allow all teams enough room to get up to high speeds. Each team will get to compete with both male and female riders, with the winner being whoever manages to cross the finish line in the fastest time. Last year, um, it was hard to pick up speed, and so we learned a lot from that and shifting gearing. So, and we have strong riders this year, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it, but I think it'll be pretty challenging. We are very near to our theoretical maximum speed, 55 kilometers per hour. We expect a very good position, hopefully. Just broke. That's awesome. <laughs> South Dakota State University has just won the speed event for both the women's and the men's categories. But it's not over yet. We have to see how they perform in the endurance race next. If you build a vehicle that's purely for speed and you can't turn, you will not be successful on this course. Um, it scares us a little bit, the hill climbs, um, both, two of them on the course. The rumble strip is because you have to sit there and take it. We are going to be feeling those bumps, but our turns are going to be amazing. The most nerve-wracking part will just be the length of it. Yeah. Moving around other vehicles might be more of an issue because they're going to be moving slower than us, hopefully. <laughs> In our next episode, the Endurance Round begins. Visit efest.asme.org and follow us on social media. Yeah.